Today we are learning how to find equivalent fractions by using multiplication. Now I expect you already know what equivalent fractions are, and you understand why the fraction 1 half is equivalent to 2 fourths or the fraction 3 sixths. Today we're going to look at how you could find that without having to draw models. Let's say you wanted to turn 1 half into 2 fourths. Well, let's take 1 half and multiply it by 2 over 2. 1 times 2 will give us 2, and then 2 times 2 will give us 4. There is our equivalent fraction, 2 fourths. Okay, but what if I wanted to make 1 half 3 sixths? Well, we can take 1 half and let's multiply by 3 over 3. 1 times 3 is 3, and 2 times 3, that's 6. There is our equivalent fraction, 3 sixths. So now let's notice, to find equivalent fractions, we took 1 half and we multiplied both the numerator and the denominator by the same thing. To find an equivalent fraction, all you need to do is multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. For example, if we wanted to find an equivalent fraction of 1 fourth, all we would need to do is multiply the numerator and denominator by the same thing. We could pick any number, like 5 over 5. That would give us 5 twentieths. And because we multiplied the numerator and the denominator by the same number, we know 5 twentieths will be equivalent. Let's practice one of these together. We're going to write an equivalent fraction of 1 third. Well, how can you make an equivalent fraction? We'll take our fraction of 1 third, and then to find an equivalent fraction, we multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number. We'll take 1 third and multiply it by something like 2 over 2. What does this equal? Well, 1 times 2 is 2, and 3 times 2 is 6. This is the equivalent fraction, 2 sixths. Let's do another. We could also take 1 third and multiply by 3 over 3. What does this equal? Well, 1 times 3 is 3, and 3 times 3 is 9. This is the equivalent fraction, 3 ninths. You can multiply by any number as long as both the numerator and denominator are multiplied by the same thing. You could do 1 third times 5 over 5. That would give you 1 times 5 is 5, and 3 times 5 is 15. Here are three equivalent fractions that we have found of 1 third. Here's another problem to practice with. Write an equivalent fraction of 3 fifths. Well, I could take my fraction 3 fifths, and which of these could I multiply it by? Remember, I have to multiply the numerator and denominator by the same thing. So from that list, the only option was 6 over 6. What would this equal? Well, 3 times 6, that's 18. And 5 times 6, that's 30. 3 fifths is equivalent to 18 thirtieths. Now it's time for you to try on your own. Write an equivalent fraction of 3 fourths. You could have taken 3 fourths and multiplied by 2 over 2. 3 times 2 is 6, and 4 times 2 is 8. There's one equivalent fraction. Or you could have done 3 fourths and multiplied by 3 over 3. Well, 3 times 3 is 9, and 4 times 3 is 12. 9 twelfths is another equivalent fraction. Or you could have taken 3 fourths and multiplied by 4 over 4. 3 times 4 is 12. 4 times 4 is 16. There's another equivalent fraction. Here are three examples, but you could have picked other ones as well. Now here's your last problem for this video. Write an equivalent fraction of 2 thirds. You could have taken 2 thirds and multiplied by 2 over 2. 2 times 2 is 4, and 3 times 2 is 6. 4 sixths is equivalent. Or you could have done 2 thirds times 3 over 3. 2 times 3 is 6, and 3 times 3 is 9. 6 ninths is another option. Lastly, you could have done 2 thirds times 4 over 4. Well, 2 times 4 is 8, 3 times 4 is 12. 8 twelfths is another equivalent fraction. Again, you could have had other fractions if you multiplied by other numbers. Today you learned how to find equivalent fractions by using multiplication.